Spotlight over the city, and I'm here with the one and only, the big homie of all big homies, Mr. James Prince himself. What's going on, big homie? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, DC? I put the spotlight on your city. The moral voice of the, of the movie. I'm playing a old school cat that's in a wheelchair. Let me get them first. So that's how that's going to work. Yeah. You got warrants in DC? I got warrants all over the place. I got warrants in six countries. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they Hollywood, baby. I'm the twenty dollars. I follow in the E class with the goggles. Not six models. All right, we can't say. I can't say. Who needs the church? The one and only Guy Lambert is in the building. I put the spotlight on your city. Say your spotlight over the city is on to something bigger than y'all think. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they Hollywood, baby. What happened to that boy? What happened yes. to that boy? Yes. He's happy, so I put it back to that boy. Oh, you Backstage with the one and only Mr. Trey Chaney. Give it up. And when you in the DMV, you rocking with Spotlight over the city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight over the city. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight over the city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spotlight over the city. I am your host, Stan Long, along with the lovely Terry T. Bomb Long. Give it up, give it up. Woo! Give it up, give it up. Yeah, we got it. Man, we got a list show for you guys today. I can't wait. Yeah. Over there. We got an amazing show. WLVS, thank you guys for tuning in. The whole DMV, C Pleasant, Landover, uh, Upper Marlboro, everybody. We love yes. you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in um, to Spotlight Over the City, the whole Northwest, the whole Southeast, the whole uh, Southwest, and uh, who I'm leaving? <laughs> I don't know. Southeast. Can't leave out. <laughs> can't leave out the South Side. <laughs> Shout out Big Jeff, South Side, the homie. Yes. And um, everybody at the sound of my voice, we appreciate you guys. ATL, of course, is in the buildings. Charlotte, North Carolina, Fayetteville. Um, everybody down that way. And of course, Hall Mills. If you are listening on Roku TV, you already know we're on Hall Mills Network on Roku TV. And that's the fam up in Jersey. Yes. So salute to Hall Mills Network doing big things. We love you guys. How up cool there. is it's that? If you all have Roku TV or you have the little d adapter thing, you can go to the Hall Mills Network channel and look up Spotlight Over the City and catch up on our 2018 shows. How cool yes. is that? And it's lit. We're on actually, Roku TV, y'all. God is good. God is and good. so God gave us a platform. So we hope every week that we can say something to somebody that will change a life and make a difference. And so that's why I'm glad to have this platform. Not yes. just to have fun. Of course, we have fun every week, but it's not just about that. We just love to touch people yeah so this is what it's about so yeah. speaking so. of touching people we had a great platform at the nelson manor shout out to the nelson manor we was down there two weeks ago and we uh broadcasted live from the nelson manor and we had a great time because we were talking relationship issues and we had some great panelists and who we had oh so sure. i got a picture of all of us that were on the panel dz show that picture of of us from a, the spotlight special edition show there we are then you can see how much fun we had. We had Yeah, we had a great time. Great picture too, by the way. Yeah, we so um, talked Nelsons. about relationship questions that you all would not believe, some of the things that we were able to get into. And we got a whole stack of part two questions that we're gonna bring back to you soon. Um, it was yes. a really fun time. And thank you to Dyson's Crab Cakes. They were the bomb.com. Thank you so much to Sweet Elevations Desserts. Those cupcakes you made were amazing. And then you followed back up and provided an amazing lemon homemade amazing. from scratch cake that my hubby got for me for my birthday celebration, which also was at the Nelson Manor at the Moroccan yes. Cottage. We actually stayed at the Woo, Moroccan Cottage. It was so uh, sexy. And it's a really sexy spot. So you shout out see? again to the Nelson I Manor. I can show them. But wait before, okay, we, wait, before we do that, can okay. you let, let me just say, um, shout out to uh, the Duncans. 
The Duncans, we went to the hey, play. Yeah. And the Duncans did an amazing job with this play. When I say amazing, it was a real it's about relationships. What they did was project themselves from now to show that when they 80, which means they'll be together from this stage of life to the 80. And they were showing how things projected from this point on and how the obstacles they had to come re- over, overcome and stuff like that. Views and I from thought that forever. was a really fly, what is it called? Views from forever. So you could have saved me all that time. Man, <laughs> doing all that. So That's yeah, the name I, of it. Views I, from forever. Views from forever. So if you, I don't know when it's coming back or where it's next, but if you guys get a chance to check it out, make sure you do. So shout out to the Duncans. They were yes, part of the panel, a, by the way. It was amazing. Thank you, uh, Sherelle and Alfred. You all are amazing and um, can't wait to connect with you all again. And everyone that was on the panel, Targates Anderson, thank you very much. Bashay Williams, Yolanda and Taurus Nelson, thank you all so much. I mean, we just had an amazing time. And thanks to all the guests who came down there, part of our studio studio audience, uh, Bridget U Style Magazine, uh, Dr. Cheryl Neverson, who happens to be my sister, Big Jeff came down there, um, um, Angel Levas, and uh, who am I leaving out, babe? Who else came and joined us in the studio audience? It was audience? a bunch of people, so yeah, shout man, out to everybody. Was... Dyson's Crab Cakes yes. came through. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. So yes. yeah, we had, we had a great time, and also, um, it's something else that we're leaving out. Uh, with, with that day? Yes. What is it? Oh, happy birthday to you, wifey. I'm Aww. happy, happy. I mean, it's belated now, but we celebrated for the fourth. Yeah, we celebrated. Her birthday was the third, and um, she turned 26, and we celebrated her yes. birthday. And when I say we had a great time, 26. shout out to everybody who came through, the 26. Nelsons, both Nelsons, Nelson Man and the Nelsons, and also Gil and Pam Nelson, and a whole bunch of other people came through, and we had a great time. And yes, so, we did. Uh, the 4th of July was bomb. Happy so, yeah. belated birthday to you, too, Trey Burrell. We we share birthdays, so and we happy like birthday to twins, Trey, yeah. Team when, Cancer. When is your birthday, Trey? July 3rd. Same day. Same day. Okay, so you moody, too, Trey? <laughs> a little bit. It depends on what day. <laughs> Team Cancer. We are Team Team Cancer. Cancer. I know that. I tell you that. Um, So, again, we had an amazing time. Hubby, thank you for making sure that the birthday and we celebrated our two-year wedding anniversary as well on um, July 7th. We got married seven seven seventeen, so we celebrated yes, two we years of, of marriage um, so on July us, 7th, right? so thank you for that. I hope I'm pregnant, because we I was trying. Girl, stop it. <laughs> we got company. So anyway. <laughs> I sure was trying. <laughs> Terry, um, Terry, Terry. So come on back. Okay, so look, I back. know we look like the Bobsy, is it Bobsy twins? How they yes, say? but these are. Mm. But it's a special reason for it. So yes. DC versus everybody. DC. And the oh, let me that move we, this out the way so they can really get a good look at it. <laughs> yeah, put so it so the reason that we're wearing these is because our friend has a company. And um, it's a great company, actually. And don't forget that it's actually spotlight over the city on the sleeves oh, of yeah, our shirts. Oh, yeah, we got to show that, too. She didn't know that part, but it's on ooh, the sleeves. Ooh. So shout out to Mika and you her like company. What you What's see? the name of the company? You like what you see. I know you do. You, too, can get one of these shirts, DC versus everybody. And you can get a 15% off discount by going to Mika's website. Her name is Mika. She These are some nice quality shirts. The, these yeah. are the type that won't shrink up. And um, it doesn't even have to be DC versus everybody. Go on her website, and she has she has really creative slogans on T-shirts and um, nice. Lo- I have some that I'm going to give away, so please pay attention to tonight's show because I'm going to ask you to remember something that I'm going to say during this show in order for you to win your own DC versus everybody T-shirt and the tote bag. Um, so pay attention. Which is to- cool, though. Let me yeah, see. look at this tote bag. I'm going to show them that. Showing the bag. It's a really cool While bag he's showing too. you the bag, I'm gonna give you the website. Go to www.cup of t just the letter t dash or hyphen shirt.com. www.cup of t the letter just the letter t dash shirt.com and follow them on Instagram at my cup of t just the letter t underscore shirt. And um, don't forget, I'm gonna give away the shirt and the tote bag. But you got to listen to the rest of the show and find out what I'm going to tell you to remember. Yeah, shout out Mika. Too. So shout Mika, out to you, Mika. Thank you, you very much. If you listen to the show, you need to call us ASAP. That's cool. <laughs> Get with me, like for Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we're looking for you, Mika. Yeah, you need to do that. <laughs> so anyway, Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, let's move on to it. I think we got through all of the, um, the recaps of the week. Um, oh, you know what, y'all? Guess what's coming back on at the um, August 25th? Power. <laughs> and ghosts are returning on August 25th. We got a promo to show you. It's going to be super lit. This is the last season for Power on the Stars Network. And guess what? Our guest today, Trey Burrell, he might have some music. 
during some of these episodes on the uh, hey. on, on power. So, uh, yes, we've got hey, some um, really Trey. amazingly talented people that are part of the Spotlight family. But I want to show this trailer for the last season of Power that's going to be coming on the Stars Network. Mm, okay. So y'all make sure, yeah, make sure y'all check that out. August twenty fifth, I will be tuned and glued to the TV. What about you, hubby? Mm, Maybe. (laughs) Of course I will. You know, it's one of my favorite shows on TV. Okay, real quick, I wanted to um, real quick, I wanted um remind you all that on July twentieth, which is ten and like nine days away, the uh, biggest stage play of the year is going to be at the Lincoln Theater, D.C. It's called Confessions of a Side Chick. An amazingly talented lineup of people are in the play, including yours truly, T-Bomb. I am in this play. So if you do We're not... We're doing a show. If you do ma'am. not have your tickets, if you do not have your tickets, you need to get your tickets. Go to LincolnTheaterDC.com. Get your tickets July 20th, Confessions of a Side Chick. My niece, Sonny, uh, Big G, and Juan Glover, Yana Crawley, Omar the Comedian. Uh, we've got uh, Draymond, and he is super bitch. And y- y'all go follow him <laughs> on Instagram. He going to turn hey, up. I ain't going to lie. Super talented, though. I saw, yes. I saw, some, of the, I saw some of the rehearsals. Yes, indeed. I was just like, okay. Yeah, July 20th. Little, little Check impressive. it out. Uh, what else we got going on? Uh, this is one thing I do need to uh, to ask everybody because pay attention. This is going to be part of our giveaway later. What song, and you can answer this one too, baby. What song, no matter how old it is and how many times it's been played, and you can have heard it over and over again, but when they play it again, it's still one of them songs that you'd be like, that is my joint. And I don't care how many times you've heard it, how old it is. What song is that for you? What song does that for you, baby? I got a few, but most one. of them, Ozzy Brothers. Just one song that if you hear it today, it's still going to be your song. If you hear it 10 more years, you're going to be like, that's my song. What is it? For me, it's Blow the Whistle. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Blow the Whistle. Blow the Whistle. That's, that's the, my song. That's your transcending song? Yes, that's my song. <laughs> that's the one that no transcends many, through time. No matter how many times <laughs> I hear them play it at the club, in the car, no matter where. If I'm in the car, I might get out and bust it down. I'm serious. That's my song. Blow well, the Whistle. For transcending time... <laughs> and it kind of was a corny song, but a cool song at the same time was uh, Summertime. Summer, summer. Okay. That's a Here song that you probably could play. Slightly train. Yeah, I like that. For a that. long Forever. time. And it kind of like, it's just so like you a all, happy song. My favorite is Blow the Whistle. And Stan's favorite no, is. No, that's not my favorite, though. No, it's, I said mine. No, I'm saying it's not my favorite. Okay. It's just a song that I think that could transcend through time. Okay. I can't think of nothing right now. But let, all let's right, well, moving on. on. Spotlight News is sponsored by who, baby? Umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Shout out to my man Wes over there, the CEO, the C to the EO over there, yes. Umbrella, What's man. Up, They're doing amazing things. So this is a serious segment because actually, if you are feeling depressed or you're having some real serious issues, a lot of times us black folks think that you can't go and get any help or seek any type of treatment for our situations. If so, I think that that's not true. So Umbrella proves it to be right. So if yes. you, a lot of times suicidal thoughts are coming in our community at a, a drastic rate on a serious note. Um, suicide is one of the main uh, causes of death right now in our community. Yeah. And so among young people. And so we have to know that it's help out there. And Umbrella is that. Umbrella is D.C.'s most reliable and trusted behavioral health organization. It provides therapy and community support for people ages five up to 100 years old. Not If you live beyond that, you can still get their services, too. Um, so make sure you... Access their services, dial one eight eight eight. If you get a hundred though, I'm probably you should just give it up. <laughs> just be over it. Cause it's if you a hundred, you don't think you need mental if health. If you've been a hundred years crazy, then I mean not crazy, but if you've been a hundred. Listen, if you a hundred years old and you need you know, umbrella services, dial then you probably one. probably needed it at twenty years, I, I just, thirty, fifty years ago. I need to get the number out. Oh, I'm sorry. One <laughs> one eight 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 seven nine three four three. Five seven and request again that number umbrella, is we have to request umbrella therapeutic services tell them spotlight over the city told you to call and again, the number again number is 888-793-4357 
And make sure you guys remember to call. You have to live in D.C., though. That's the one. D.C. residents only right now. But they're going to be expanding one day. I already know it. So, because Wes is, he, he, you know, he's a yeah, big time boss. West. Yes, he yeah. is. And he's doing some amazing things. So, I love All it. All right. On to the news. Spotlight news. Your girl spent, well, my girl, Spinderella. I actually like everyone in Salt and Pepper. I like all three <laughs> of these ladies. And I'm, and I'm a little, you know, disappointed that they're going through some turmoil right now, right? What's Spinderella has been fired from the group. Spinderella's name is Deidre Roper. She's been fired from the group, and she has filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against Salt and Pepper, claiming that they owe her millions of dollars for years and years of allegedly leaving her out of their financial benefits. That they yeah. and this dates back to like twenty years ago. So I hate um, that. I, hate, I don't I like that mess. y'all are hate, going through yeah. this. Um, and she again. So I don't know if when she when she recently got kicked out of the group, is that pissed her off? But here's the other thing: as much as I love Salt and Pepper and I I know all their songs, I know every word. So my mic sounds nice. I can prove it if you want me to. Don't. Okay. But um, Thank you, though. I mean, who really cares at this point? Like, ain't they like fifty? They ain't too old for this. I mean, how you gonna kick me out of the group? Bad, what yeah, group? I, yeah, thought no, no, they retired. <laughs> So oh, no. at the end of the day, though, I just hate it because the younger groups coming up. You need to. I mean, y'all Set already some examples, made some y'all. hits and on, y'all, did, y'all y'all broke some records and set some good vibes trends only. And, hey, come on, stop this. It's too. Yeah, much. good vibes only. What's, well, let's give a shout uh, out real quick to some people because they saying oh, some yeah, stuff. Yeah, we got some quick. people on here. What they saying, yeah, baby? Like, well, Big Jeff in there, Bobby on I there. Shout out Bobby Bro on, on there. there. Yeah, why did you want to share with me? Hey y'all. Oh yeah. You ain't talking to them. Cameron on there. What's up, Cuzzo? What's up, Dion Murphy? It's a whole bunch of y'all. What's up, Sonya? Sonia Johnson, everybody on Facebook. We have we can't leave you guys out. I know we moving yeah, on with we the show, but we want to make sure that we acknowledge Alicia. some of y'all on here. You saw as we well gave you. She saw we shouted her out. There. What's up, family? Sweet everybody elevations. on there. We love you guys for being a part of the show. Stay tuned. We got a great one. Prayers go out to uh, New Orleans. They going going through it again, again. with this weather. It's some flooding going on down there right now, and it's happened right at the that the um, the tail of the Essence Music Festival. Which I heard was wonderful. I heard it was wonderful as well. I, I've never heard of a bad Essence Music Festival. Honey, we have to make it down there one year soon. Hopefully next year yeah. we can go before my 50th birthday turn up. Okay. Um, yeah, you but um, you got a lot going on for your birthday, though. Now. You <laughs> I know I'm starting to plan already. Yeah, you just left a birthday last well, week. Well, anyway, hey, you listen, already want it, huh? That's a big one. Yeah, but it is though. Five O is big. It's big. Yeah. Yes, and um, so some of their hotel, even the Ritz Carlton down there, flooded. Um, some of celebrities were posting their pictures of their hotel, the hallways yeah, and the terrible. hotels flooding. And now they have a, a threat of um hurricane that's coming now. Hurricane Man. state. And they got a state of emergency going on now and some mandatory evacuations. And everyone remembers Hurricane Katrina. So I'm praying yeah. for you all down there. And I'm hoping that this hurricane and all this flooding comes and goes and everyone stays safe and dry. And I possible. definitely hope that it doesn't get the way it was like people losing their homes and all yes. their belongings and stuff yeah. like that. That was horrible. Yeah. Your boy Jay-Z has been named the chief brand strategist of Kaliva. What you gonna do now? They're we, asking let's people. Let's show the to, clip. We're gonna ask them right after like, this. Let's show money? the clip. Yeah, we right back. Spotlight. So what do you guys say? What y'all say in the studio? You return it or keep it? Yeah, keep it? I, I'm sorry, It's y'all. a keep. It's a keep. Everybody keep say keep. 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 That's it's consensus. a stimulus package, right? Stimulus We're package. We're all going to keep it. So uh, don't let that happen over here on 295 in D.C. I'm, ca- I think, I'm keeping it. I think it. that it should happen in every city just based on our president. It should be intentional that you drop bags of money off. Every month, because of the tragedy that we have to endure having a president yeah. that we have, yeah, so yeah, it should yeah. be something to ease your pain and get rid of some of your stress. I yeah. agree with you, baby. I thought it was a good look, actually. I yes, like, yeah. I want to ease my pain and stress too. Yeah. Yes. I got something for you. To help you. Yes, do I want it. Sign me up. We got company. ASAP so Rocky is reportedly being held in inhumane conditions in a Swedish jail. He was recently arrested for I a physical. Was that girl? Huh? You still held? 
Yeah, he they still as go. yeah as of today they still got him over there. He was recently arrested for a physical altercation with a man on the streets of Stockholm, and he he's being held. And prosecutors are trying to decide whether or not to charge him with aggravated assault. Jada Pinkins. Jada Pinkett Smith has started a petition because um, she wants everybody to rally together and get this, get him home. Because we're like, we don't want him over there, and if, especially if it's inhumane conditions. But listen, this is what happened. He was going to a music festival, mm-hmm. him and his guys, and two men were following them everywhere they went, like all their moves. And he asked them to stop, like back up off of us while you fall. And the two guys were being asses and was like, no, nah, we can do what we want. And, and Rocky beat one of them up really badly. Once they yeah, I saw out. him slinging, allegedly yeah, slinging allegedly, somebody around, right, allegedly. around on the video. But well, that's what happened. Uh, for a fight he's been held? Yeah, he beat somebody up. Aggravated assault is what they're trying to decide if they're going to charge him. And while they're deciding, he's being held in inhumane conditions. But I thought you had 72 hours to make the decision. Not, I don't know. We, that that's know in Sweden. Trouble, right, that's Swedish saying. law. I don't I know. Do you, I don't know much yeah, about so that. Yeah, so that's not the state, so it might be different. So, Trey, so, make sure when you're on that road... If you get some craziness going on, you get somebody to get in front of you and because you got a career. You know yes, I mean? you let somebody else take the craziness. <laughs> let them go ahead with the buffoon. Yes. Because yeah, you're going to mess your, That's your right. numbers up. All right, well, we're approaching my husband's favorite segment of our show. And what's, What is your favorite Spotlight, part? Spotlight, shining star. You already know. I yes. heard somebody else. I don't know who it was, DJ Quick or somebody. What? Was it Quick Silver? They using uh, Spotlight, shining star? No. So anyway, Spotlight, shining star is a segment that we have been doing since the beginning to say that Anybody in the community doing something great, unrecognized, rich, poor, whoever, we like to show that positive image on here because you don't see that much on the news. So that's why it's my favorite segment, because it's a positive segment. So well, on this, that note. This week's spotlight shining star is Coco Goff. Coco <laughs> Goff. That's Ashley um, Deasy. Her name is Coco Goff. She's the fi- it's all good. She's a 15-year-old <laughs> tennis player who recently took Wimbledon by storm when she eliminated one of her idols, Venus Williams. That's her and Venus that right is there. That's big. Shaking that is hands. Humongous. She's 15, you all. 15, 15 years, old. years old. Yeah, she eventually lost to um I forgot the young lady's name who she lost to. Somebody on Facebook tell me who she lost to. But um but she probably. is nationally known now and she yes. is about to dominate women's tennis. The problem is years old. the problem yeah. yeah, I was going to say, they got to wait. She's not old year. enough yeah. yet. So well, she can't really be on no. some of the main circuits yet, not yet because she's so young. Yeah. I didn't know she would be able to do one. But y'all look yet. out for her. She's coming. Shout out to you, Coco. More yes. black girl Salute magic. To you I love it. For being a superstar you yes. are. And um, yes, that was amazing. Black girl it. magic. All right. Well, we're, we're um, doing some amazing things these days that's really being shown. Y'all always did some amazing things. What's yeah. being shown now? What's up, Big Jeff? Southside. Yeah. Yeah. I see you. Alicia. Cameron. I see you. Hey, everybody. Allie, and, what's uh, up, and to everybody on um, our Instagram live Sierra. as well. What's up to all of you? Hey, daughter. I hey. see you. Hey, Ann. All right, we got a show to do. We do Let's have a show to do. We have, we have a talented family in the building tonight, right? Talented because it's not just the, the daddy who's been in the industry. Shout He's, out to Bobby. Yeah, Burwell. shout out Bobby. Hey, I'm sorry you couldn't be here, well, but we're we gonna take great care shout of your. To you. We're Goodbye. gonna take good care of your babies. We got Melanie <laughs> Burrell and Trey Burrell in the building. Uh, first up, we're going to get Melanie up right after this next commercial. She is a playwright, a director, a producer, and all this. I'm telling you, it's just talent, talent, it's talent. talent. It's a lot of talent. So we yes. had to have them all in one segment. So because yes. we, we couldn't spread it all out too far, so many we would have too many shows. So we said we'll do it all in one show. <laughs> Keep so it they in the, the building. We're going to keep it in the family. We yes. should have called it the Burwell Show, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they in the building, right? But they, they deserve to be in the building because they're young and they're energetic and they're uh, creative and they're doing some amazing things. So we'll be right back right after this message. Spotlight. All right. Hey, everybody. We're going to a commercial break. <laughs> In 1990, Washington, D.C. saw more than 470 homicides, earning it the label murder capital of the U.S. Shit, there you go right there. Hey, listen, when y'all pull over to the side, I'm going to go in here and rush this dude. When y'all see me rushing, y'all rush in about 30 seconds. Give me about 30 seconds and rush the door. He ain't gonna know what hit him. What's up with you, man? 
How you feel, man? What's going on with you, man? Man, man, man. I gotta tell you about this meat, my nigga. Oh yeah, I gotta yeah, go. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see. I went and talked to the diamonds the other day, man. I don't know, man. It's been a little funny. I can't, I can't really say. Uh-huh. But I got a funny feeling that these dudes are feeling that meat, son. Sure. You already know what it is. Wait for Black to get in there. Give us the signal. Run up in the junk. Snatch this nigga up, get this bread. Spares out. Hey Joe, get this nigga this money, man. Else he's gonna kill you. I don't got no. I'm, I'm gonna take you to some money. Just let me up. All right, get your ass up. Come on. Get me up. Man. Let's go. Just get me up. I'm gonna take you to some money, man. In 1990, Washington, D.C. saw more than 470 homicides, earning it the label murder capital of the U.S. Shit, there you go right there. Hey, listen, when y'all pull over to the side, I'm gonna go in here and rush this dude. When y'all see me rushing, y'all rush in. About 30 seconds, give me about 30 seconds and rush the door. He ain't gonna know what hit him. What's up with you, man? How you feel, man? What's going on with you, man? Man, man, man. I gotta tell you about this meat, my nigga. Oh, yeah, all right, all right, go. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see. I went and talked to the diamonds the other day, man. I don't know, man. It's been a little funny. I can't, I can't really say. Uh-huh. But I got a funny feeling that these dudes are feeling that meat, son. Sure. You already know what it is. Wait for Black to get in there. Give us the signal. Run up in the junk, snatch this nigga up, get this bread, spares out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. I am dark, but I'm staying long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we are back. Spotlight Over the City. Man, it looks dark, looks maybe. Different. You yeah. want to see if we can turn this light that right light? here needs to be turned around. Engineer, if you don't mind, sir. Yeah. Look so at us up seen. here. Look like we're taking yeah. a family portrait. <laughs> it's good on my end. It's good on okay. your end. Okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. So welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. We appreciate yeah. you guys. How we look? We look like sardines we look, or we good? No, we look like we're taking a, a family picture at Olin Mills. Like all okay. four of us. So we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't cool with this. Anyway. <laughs> I don't want Olin Mills. Oh, I like 
like it. You like it. Yes. We're do this temporary, and then I'm going to slide off. But anyway, we'd like to welcome the Burrell family to the set. Yes, let's welcome them What's to up? the set. Woo! Give it up for you guys are looking at some real talent. We got to share a mic because Jeremy uh, took our mics. Jeremy, we looking for you. Bring our damn mics back. <laughs> so, yeah, we we uh, we trying to work this thing out, and it looking a little crazy. So I'm going to yeah. hug up on you. So we so, working it out, though. Yeah, so this is a real family show today, yeah. for real. We in the living room. That's right. That's how you do. You That's work things do. out. You improvise, and you make the best of it. Make so. the best, though. We got who we got stuff, here? So they must be cool with it. Yeah, who we got here with us today? We got beautiful Melanie Burwell. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> And her Woo. talented, handsome younger brother Trey Burrell. Give it up! Give it up! Give it up! Yeah, a lot of talent, a lot of talent, a lot of talent. This whole family is talented from dad on down. Mom probably talented too, but I'm just not sure. I don't mom sang dance with mom. Sings. Mom, oh, mom. So, that, so there we go. So there it's we both. Go. See, so this is a lot of talent. So let's talk about it a little bit. So who gonna go first? Who 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 are these Burwells? Mm. You know, my favorite sister dog. Uh uh oh. yes. I love wow. it. <laughs> <laughs> Who went? Rock, paper, scissors. Melanie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I chose Melanie. You, oh, okay. The playwright. The playwright. I didn't, right. didn't want to spill the beans because <laughs> I wanted you to be able to tell the story about this amazing play that Stan oh. and I had the privilege of uh, witnessing up close and personal about a month or so ago. Mm-hmm. Um, Man, Melanie, nice. it was wonderful. It The the message that we received, it was oh. several messages. So I was going to say several. Several messages. And I just want you to tell the viewers and listeners um, what the play, where, how did it originate in your, I'm sure it came in your spirit at some point. Mm-hmm. And um, give us the lowdown on that. And this is a camera, right? Here. Okay. Hey, camera. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So the, the name of the play is What Kind of Man? Um, we do have instances of domestic violence in our in our area around the world, um, but it only focuses on men doing it to women. Never really the reverse of okay, women do abuse men as well. So I figured a woman should write that, and here mm. we are. <laughs> um, we do focus on two couples, a married couple trying to have you know a, a baby. Um, and the wife is withholding some information. I'm not yeah. going to give it all. <laughs> um, and then we have, you know, a dating couple. Um, the, the female is superior over the male. Um, she's a doctor, and he's just down on his luck. That was a good story. Um, <laughs> yes. So um, we, we venture into their lives. Of course, the men, they are related. They're brothers. Um, and we kind of venture into the, the sexual abuse just because the wife wanted what she wanted. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted her way. She wanted it her way. Um, and then verbal abuse, of course, the emasculation of men in the in the second couple. Um, and then I guess he understood it honestly because we introduced the mom who clearly had some issues. I hope you guys you didn't. played the mom, didn't you? I did you play was the mom. Mean. I was like, this is <laughs> mean. I mean, when you, I felt I so did. bad for you. Which, so it was one of your son, the one of your sons you loved a lot, and the other one not so much. Yeah, favoritism. And that happens a lot, a yeah. lot. A it lot. does. A lot. It does. Um, so we we did touch on a, a lot of subjects. Um, simultaneously, it wasn't just solely physical abuse, even though there was an instance. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys got out the chair when you saw her hit the <laughs> hit the ground. Um. There is an instance of domestic violence, and then everything is kind of subliminal, so you really have to pay attention because right. it's free. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. wow. It, it was great. It, it was, was great. And so where you chose to have it, the venue itself, mm-hmm. I really got into it because it made it seem so intimate. Mm-hmm. Like yes. You mm-hmm. actually sat almost on stage. It definitely mm-hmm. wasn't a bad seat in the house, and it was very personal. Well, thank yes. you. And so you couldn't help but to pay attention, and it was really... It was different. Like I had never experienced that before, and so I was really pleased. Yeah, that's my um. That's probably going to be my signature. Moving on, I like the closed, intimate spaces. It's like watching um, what would you do? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> put everything in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, I did see from the back about ten or fifteen people when the young lady hit the ground. They were ready to get up and go mm-hmm. save her. I'm like, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> right, right. Um, but the the intimate space kind of puts everything in your face. You have no choice but to accept it for what it is. So yeah. that's going to be my signature. Might I add that the second night of the show was so packed <laughs> that like I'm looking in the audience and it's people like literally standing, standing. in standing. the back. Yeah. 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 Sold out both yeah. shows. Yeah. yeah. yeah I so. think that's the one we came to. The mm-hmm. one, the last, we came On to the Sunday. very last yeah, one. It was, people it was standing, standing room only. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
and yeah, trade for yourself. Yeah, one time for you. Yes, because it wasn't. It, it was sold out for a reason. Like it was really impactful, and I thought it was really. It was dead on. Like and you really had good talent. On. Like where'd you get oh, those people you. from? Um, <laughs> friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's really. very hard to find friends that you can work with. Um, the husband is a professional actor. Mm-hmm. Um, the two females. Um, that was their first show ever. The wife. Wow. The, you mean the one that was pregnant? Mm-hmm. That was oh, her wow. first show. She did really well. She did. Um, and then the doctor. That was her first show. Right. Did yeah. Really well. Um, and then she the did really well. Young lady who played the bartender and the. Oh, that's right. You remember that story? Mm-hmm. Was, that was, was my good. favorite. <laughs> yes, my favorite that was character. good. Yeah, the Melody. young lady who played the bartender and the son that just couldn't get his life together. They're students at Bowie State University. Hmm. They okay. were all really they good. Thank so you. if you all, if <laughs> they are great. watching or if they watch this later, hey. you all are yes. awesome. You guys killed that. Yes. Y'all, killed, yes. y'all, rock. y'all killed it. Yes, y'all definitely killed what it. Thank you, you. What are your plans for this play? Because, you know, it was so super good. I would love for other people to be able to witness sure. what we did. <laughs> um, we are looking to find other black box spaces in our area to do it again. Mm-hmm. Um, we did get an invite to go to North Carolina with it. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. So like um, does that mean you're going to do it? When you say an invite, I mean, it's something you think considering. You know, if the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do want to go to North Carolina and we did inquire about a space in New York. So we are looking to go. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so Your dad is on here saying Netflix, Netflix. That's right. I mean, Netflix. There, That's is, right. there is talk of a movie version as well. Yes. Um, I would say yes. I would say yes to that. <laughs> I would say triple yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's I guess do we're it. We're going to look into that. Let's um, do yeah. it. Sometime yeah. next year, but. That was kind of my, my tester to see if I could really do it. Well, you can and really I did it. do and it. You can right? really do it. And then you really did it again. Oh right? well, yeah. <laughs> so that proves that you can really do it when you well, do thank it. Thank you so much. What I yeah. want you to know though, just as a person who's doing mm-hmm. sort of what you're doing, putting yourself into uh, the movie realm. Sure. You are stepping in the perfect time. Well, thank you. They are looking for our content. Our content mm-hmm. is potent. Our content means a lot right now, um, mm-hmm. and everyone wants our content. Yeah. So it's a perfect time to jump out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we jump in. We jump, yeah. in. <laughs> jump. I would say jump. Jump in. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, well, I just want you to know I'm super excited about whatever the next step is for it. And um, I would like for Stan and I to be in the loop because we are we, we are cheerleaders for, for you. No, thank yes. you. We love to support Definitely. everything that's great in our community. Yes. Thank you so much. Beyond. Absolutely. Because that's why God blessed me with this platform and me and wifey teamed up and we decided that we would do things just like we're doing now. We want to salute everybody in the community abroad that's doing some great things that don't necessarily get the recognition. And so here we are. That's sure? right. That's Beautiful. right. Beautiful. And it was nice to see your brother perform at intermission. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> Man. Trace. Ooh. Trace, they lit. What? Trace yes. Ooh. lit. The women in there. Old women in there. <laughs> I old know. Women. All, young all women. ages. Man, they better get off Trace. Trace. Hey, young man, yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I try to keep the cool. I try to keep the cool. Trey gonna be in trouble. Not too much. I try to get him to see. Trey you. came yeah, in there like sweetness. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I said, okay, Trey. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was really cool. I would have recorded, but they was telling me to put my phone down. So <laughs> I ain't gonna violate he the rules. Won. I'll, I'll try sorry. to get him to travel like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, um, we really love what you guys are doing. We're really Thank proud. You. Um, your dad is really proud. I'm sure. Because Thank you guys are doing things that's amazing. So yes. You know, he might even, if he gets tough on y'all sometimes, he's proud. So as I know he is. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be. Joe Jackson Jr. Well, he got to Joe Jackson a little bit. Joe Jackson, <laughs> Jackson Jr. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Bobby, she oh, called yeah. you Joe Jackson. Joe Jr. Hey. <laughs> but look at them amazing kids he produced. So, I mean, so, hey. So we talking about music a little bit outside of the play situation. So when you and your vehicle, what are you listening to? Um, you know, I'm really a '90s baby, so okay. '90s slow jams. Um, Chris Brown is the goat sometimes. Okay, so. hey, okay. Shout out, shout out to Chris Brown, Brown if you yes. happen to be watching. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, Chris. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. I'm he a '90s goat, baby, though. and and some Trey songs. Um, every now and again, I'll pop in. Trey Burwell, because <laughs> yes. every now and again we'll sprinkle that in. Right. <laughs> So, Trey, yes. you, what do you listen to? What's going to? on, yeah. What you what? in the vehicle? What are you popping? What's your favorite artist? Who inspires Trey? Um, like she said, I listen to Chris Brown, uh, Marion, Tank, Michael Jackson, Prince. Oh, Tank. But a lot of times when I hop in a car, I just play Go-Go. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes. Yeah, don't silence. Some 
impressions. Hey, don't, 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 don't mute don't DC. Silence. Don't mute DC. That's yeah, right. It's impossible. I love Go Go. So, hey, Trey, did Trey just, what did Trey say he listened to? Go Go. You yeah, heard yeah, it. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, I'm, like in high school, like 10th, like through 12th grade, I had like all the Go Go mixtapes on Spin Really. Like, I love Go Go. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that yeah. turns me up. Though. That's the go to. Yeah. That's what's up. So, we are proud. So, now, what is this new song that you. Uh, yeah, let's get into got, some of your we, business, we Trey. Of a new song that you it's coming out in 2020. Your daddy said that we are allowed to preview something yeah, that's coming out for you in 2020. You all, just so you know, I don't know if we properly told, uh, give, gave all the accolades because we were on Melanie at first, but this this young man is a signed recording artist, so let's not yeah, get let's it be twisted. Clear. Let's, let's be, be clear. clear. Uh, don't underestimate, a, that's yes. underestimate our other guests. Yes, he is name. a signed recording artist, and he is super lit. Um, so, I mean, and I'm not just saying this to say it though, Trey, but you remind me some of your mannerisms, some of your, of your sound of my uh, cause I, cause it's, no. cause I'm a singer. <laughs> well, I'm just, huh? Wait. I'm just saying, babe. I'm well, a, you know I'm, what? I'm a singer. Trey is a singer. We sing. And so sometimes when I first saw him perform, I say, damn, is that me? Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not what I was saying. I was going to say Chris Brown because oh, Chris just Brown. like his sound and just some of the things that just remind me of him. And Trey, you're super talented. Yeah. And um, I want to get into a little bit about like, you know, what are some of the things you've got coming up that are exciting that you want people to know about? And I do want to get a, a let everyone hear a glimpse of the um, – the, like it's like a teaser, so you ain't gonna get it all, y'all. But y'all gonna get to hear a little bit about what he's got planned coming out so for 2020. Yeah, what is it? I'm, I'm trying to think. They what right. on Facebook. They yeah, like, yeah. Easy. Easy. I sent you one of the. I sent you something that said. Um, I forgot which one. It's, it's two of them, but one of them it lets you know what is it called, Trey? Summertime. Summertime fun. Summertime fun. Yeah, that's, that's summertime fun. I like the title. Yes, yeah. yeah. baby, you summertime fun. Watch yourself. Yeah. Give me yeah, one second. But we're going to set it up, Trey. Set this song up for us. Let, let them know a little bit about this uh, new single that will be coming out soon. Okay, well, the Summertime Fine single is a single that's set to drop next year in 2020 in the summertime. It's a record I've been working on. It has a great 90s feel. It has a like a retro type feel, but I, my lyrics are very like urban. When I say urban, I mean they're hip like to what we're like saying nowadays. So I put my own little spin on like a 90s feel, and it's, it's, it's lit, so... Just stay okay. tuned. We got a whole lot of stuff coming up, man. Stay tuned. Okay. So let's get right let's to listen. it. Let's listen. We'll be right back. Let's do a, take a let's listen. Check it out. Hey, everybody. What's up, Facebook? We got the beautiful Ashley who just joined us in the building. Ashley Demi hey, is hey, in hey, the hey. building. Hey. Hey, hey. hey, you got out there rain. Is it bad out there? <laughs> no, we just want to hear it. We just want to hear it. We just want to hear a little bit of it. want them to hear it. Yeah. Can y'all hear this? Can y'all hear that track? Hey. That's a nice little restaurant. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Things go real on me, girl come feel on me I heard that you're looking for a winner and that you're into me I got the remedy, you know I like it when you wear them jeans and all of that When you move and all of that, best believe oh I'll handle it that yeah. 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 yeah, I know you dig it, I know you dig it Cause it's still with it To the limit, you dig it, yeah. I know you dig it. Cause I see you still giving it. But we ain't finished. We ain't finished. Girl, I'ma push you to the limit. It's summertime, fine. And I wanna make you mine. And I'ma do whatever. Money in the day. Cause it's whatever. Young fly nigga, and you know I'm clever. It's summertime, fine. And I wanna make No one 
I'll make you mine So how about we do something that we never done If you run out forever, run, that's just your hold on me, yeah Cause I've been running, and I can't find a better one You can't find a better one Yeah, you're summertime fine too, baby, though, for real, though And wintertime yeah, and winter time. <laughs> Fall, all that so I love the song. I love the track. Thank you, baby. I love the track. I love the song. Yes. I love the energy. Thank you so much. And he brings energy, too. See, oh, some people man. sing, some people sing and perform. Mm -hmm. Well, he sings he and performs. And so that's what I also love about Trey. Yeah. And so, Trey, um, before you go, let them know where they can find your next project. They can find you on IG, uh, all the social platforms. Let them know where they can get, get at you. Get your music yeah, as well. All my music on all digital platforms. Just type in Trey Burwell. My latest album, Icon, is available on all digital streaming platforms. I got 7399 Part 1 and 2 available on all digital streaming platforms. Pop Culture 1 is on all digital streaming platforms. And you can follow me on all social media at Trey Burwell Music. T-R-E-B-U-R-W-E-L-L -L Music. Yes. There it is. Um, and what about Sis? Where can they find <laughs> Sis and know about this next plays and dates and where they can find Ooh. you and what's up next for you? Okay, so... Nubian Goddess Mel on Instagram. Yes. Mel Burwell, the artist on Facebook. Um, Melburwell.com in the making. And look out for Go Mel Productions by the end of the year. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Um, so, yes. 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 so make sure you guys keep up with these two because they both are doing amazing things. And, Thank, um, you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So uh, we're going to put you on the spot a little bit, Trey. Because we having some other issues in the studio that we didn't, y'all don't know about. We gonna have to keep it a certain way, so we can't do what we wanted to do with Trey. But Trey, if you if you could just give us a smidget of some anything you want a cappella, okay, just, oh, up here, just a little drop. He of, said just he a, accepts the challenge. You accept I the do. challenge like this? Sing them down. I accept. Yeah, the just challenge. give him a little he something, something. The challenge. All right, let's let's rock. I'll be singing my first single that I ever dropped. It's called You Love It. It's my favorite song to sing a cappella. So. Turn turn this mic up a little bit for me if you don't mind, Mr. Yo, yo, Engineer. Yo. So you can check 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 it. Yo, yo. Oh, all right. Cool, cool. Yeah, we need to hear that young man. <laughs> Not too loud, yeah. But we got you. All right. Let's rock. Pretty young thing. I see the way you move. I know the party's scene, girl. I know what parties do. You don't seem like the type to stay out a whole night. You looking like you need somebody in your life. So don't worry about no dress. Don't worry about no heels. You've been dealing with the rest. Introduce you to the real. I take it nice and slow while you tell me how it feels. I take it nice and slow while you tell me how it feels. And I know you love it. When I touch it, when I rub it, and I know you feeling what I'm feeling when we kissing, and I know you love it. When I touch it, when I rub it, and I know you feeling what I'm feeling when we kiss and yeah. hey. yes. 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 You are so talented and so thank are you, you so Melanie. Much. Thank you both for joining us in the studio tonight. We do thank have another guest. We've got to get Miss beautiful Ashley Demi up here really quickly. After yes. This thank you. Commercial. So we'll be right back at this commercial spotlight over the city. Spotlight. You ready to rock, rock, y'all? To the beach, y'all. We going on your don't stop. I put the spotlight on your city. Welcome to Spotlight Over the City, and I'm here with the one and only, the big homie of all big homies, Mr. James Prince himself. What's going on, big homie? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, D.C.? I put the spotlight on your city. The moral voice of the, of the movie. I'm playing a old school cat that's in a wheelchair. Let me get them first. So that's how that's going to work. Yeah. You got warrants in D.C.? I got warrants all over the place. I got warrants in six countries. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. How much money, y'all? I follow. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. And as you can see, we have a beautiful plus one joining us. And her name is Ashley Demi. Please give it up. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Did I say that right? You did. Ashley Demi. I love that. Ashley Demi. Yeah. I love yes. that. I love you for having me. Thank you. Thank Wait, you, you so much. Where you get case from? Where you, my case? Oh, <laughs> listen. Fancy, Amazon no. is my best She's friend. Fancy. Shout out to Amazon. I don't want to give them too much because they yes. have candy, but they let. Yes, yes, yes. So right, thank you so it. much for coming to Spotlight Over City. We got to get right into it. I okay. really just, you know, I met this beautiful young lady. We were on the set of Available Wife, right? Shout out to Tressa Azarel. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That and um, Black bosses doing yes. things. Yes. I we mean, met some amazing it. people, and she's one of them. And I said, you know what? Won't you come hang out with us on the show one day? And she said, I'd love to. So she's here. And I've been seeing some of the amazing, fun things that you've been doing. I saw you out at the BET Awards. Yes. I saw you at Essence. Okay. You are always doing some fun things. Why don't you tell our viewers and listeners, just, you know, give them a summary of who you are and how you're so fabulous and what you have coming up that you want people to support you. Um, I love it. I mean, let's go backtrack. So okay. Essence was, what, two days ago yes. over the weekend? Yes. Can we curse? Okay, well, yeah, I'll be you, a lady. You, you <laughs> I cuss on it. In New Orleans. It was 115 degrees. It was hot AF. What? Girl. <laughs> yeah, um, that's that Vegas heat. Oh, my God. I had never been in a place so hot in my entire life. Um, yeah. My Sunday was just chill. I stayed in the bed. I was like, I can't go outside. Yeah. It was so funny. It's I went to hot. pump the gas. I had rented a car. It was pumping the gas. So the my girlfriend left the car running. No comment. But the oh. exhaust from the car... <laughs> Was was it wasn't even as hot as the heat outside? It was really? so bad. I was like, you know, I'm gonna take that's me home. like that Vegas heat. Yeah, it that's was, how we were in it Vegas. It was disrespectful. Was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, like when you stick your arm out, just, oh my god, all this be water, like skin peeling. I had all this bronze on, but my, I have like my skin is just peeled <laughs> off. It's crazy. So what were you doing there? Like what what types of things were you there to do? Press. I was doing media inter, um, interviews with mm -hmm. so many different amazing I people. Saw some, I was following your stories. I was like, wow, it's so made so much fun stuff. Same thing for BET though. Yes. I saw you and I saw some of the interviews that you were doing. Um, and I was just like, she is. You just to me, you just have this energy and you just display this fabulousness all hey, the time. Now go be fabulous. All the it. time. T-shirts available. Yes. So no, yeah. Plug it. Plug it all. Yes. It all. Um, follow me at I am Ashley Demi. My website www.ashleydemi.com I mean I just exude fabulosity and it's just not even your outer appearance but your inner appearance. Inner. Yeah. Yes, and that's what I noticed about you that night we were sitting there. Because I, I can tell y'all, I said, I didn't know her, and I was like, oh, this Spanx is about to make me. Da -da -da. She's like, girl, she she talked me off a ledge. And I knew then, I was like, you know, her inner her inner energy just really, really radiates. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, because it's so funny, you meet so many people who are gorgeous, and their self-esteem, you know, doesn't match the outer appearance. They're like, oh, I'm this, I'm that, you know, I'm not pretty enough, my hair's not long enough, my lace isn't laid nice enough. I'm like, yeah. girl, bye, you're gorgeous. Gorgeous. And not you, but just women in general. Right. All colors are shades, brown, black, white, Puerto Rican, Asian, persuasion. We as women just need to come together. So, yes. I mean. Yes, we do. So between both weekends, BET and LA, I just was happy to celebrate with amazing women. With women, yes. Shout out to Black Girl Magic. Yes. I mean, we are really trying to spread more of that. We, 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 we forget about him. <laughs> but, I, but I will say shout out to Black Girl Magic because I love what the sisters are doing and I like that you guys are getting your props. And it's, it's overdue and we love it. So yeah. I'm with um, you. We don't. We um. We want to make sure that you um get an uh, get enough time to at least tell people how they can keep up with you and keep up with some of the great things that you're doing. Um, we are going to run out of time, but again, we're going to have Ashley Demi come yes. back again sure. when it's guys. not a thunderstorm outside yeah, right, and really sure. hang out and spend some time. But what are some things that you got coming up, and how can people keep up with you and and, and get some of your merchandise? Yes, yes. Tell them yeah, all that stuff. Find Give them the spiel. Yeah. So again, you can find me at I am Ashley Demi on Instagram. Instagram. I check every single DM. That's D-E-M-I. She does. D-E-M-I. D-E-M-I. Mm -hmm. My shirt. Yeah. That's and right. She's working right. one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Wear your brand. Yes. Wear your um, brand. I'm happy to, you know, ship you a shirt, you know, my lovely packaging. I'm just happy. I have so many things coming up. I think tomorrow I'm headed to New Jersey to interview Karen Civil um, for her oh, yeah. big community day in New Jersey. Yeah. So shout out to her, another black boss doing amazing yes. things. Yes. I Love mean, it. my schedule just changes so much within the last... Four weeks I've been to Atlanta, Paris, LA, and New Orleans. Girl. So sometimes you, I yeah. can't keep up with what's next. 
but God is my PR. Yeah. So there we go. I just be That's like, right. okay. That's you right. Going? Okay, I'm good. I'm ready. So you got the best PR around. I got that's the right. Best PR around. That's why you're in the four different places. Yeah, that's how it works. Four yeah. weeks with four different time zones. And you, you and you kept it all together and still <laughs> hey. looking amazing. And now you're right so. here on spot like Make sure y'all go follow her. Yes. Love it. Make okay. sure yes. you go follow Ashley Demi on yes. Facebook. Not Facebook, right? Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. Facebook. When Periscope okay. was hot, I was on there, too. Oh, when okay. Black okay. Planet was lit, I was there, too. <laughs> I was in middle school, but I was popping. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> So we got to get out of here, but yes. we thank okay. you again for being a part of Spotlight over the city. Yes, we thank we each do. and every every one of our guests, the Burwell family, of course. Bobby, we love you. We see you. Um, everybody, we up next in the Kia Wright show. Yes, you the lady know. the Kia Wright uh, we show. We got is Mr. Wright next. in the building. Yes. Salute to him, a great hey, gentleman hey. as well. She so cute. we got to get out of here, you guys. So until then, next time we already know. Oh, I was something I was supposed to plug. I, what? My mind, you know I'm getting old. What, baby? Um. Um, I don't forgot. forget the sponsors. Who is it now? Anyway, uh, shout out to our, shout our out amazing to... sponsor, Umbrella, once again. Wes, over there, we see you. Uh, we gotta, we gotta go. Love hard, live good. God first. Spotlight over the city. Woo woo, man.